Let's see how you create a user registration system. Firstly, create a blank project and give it a name. Now, go to the Database tab and create a new database. We will use it to store our users' data. We will call the database Main. Next, we will create the necessary endpoints for the project. The first one will be named SignUp and its method will be Post. This will be used for registration. In the endpoint, we will use the Email Verify block to ensure the user's email is valid. We will also use the Minimum Length block to make sure that the password is at least 8 characters long. Whenever a request is made to a POST endpoint, it has a body in which we can pass parameters. Just write hash body dot followed by the name of the parameter. For example, we will write hash body dot email to indicate the email address we are sending. We will then insert the new user into the database using the database save block. We will tell it to save the new user in a user's collection in the database main which we already created. In the document, we will save three values, name, email, and password, all taken from the body of the request. If there was no error, we will send an OK message. In case of an error, we will send an error message. Next up, we will create another endpoint called sign in with a method post. This will sign users into the system. The endpoint will take the user's email and password in the body. We will use the database find one block to check if a user with such credentials exists. If none exist, we will return a message saying that the user is not registered. If the user exists, we will save his email to the session. Every piece of information we save to the session will be available to us in the next request the user makes, and thus, we will be able to know the user's identity. We will use the set session block to save the user's email in the session. We will add a success message. To check if the user is signed into the system, use the get session block to see if the user has an email, thereby providing the user has previously signed in.